Welcome back. Continuing today at the Museum of the City of New York, we are still here. Lenape Celebration Weekend, the two-day event inviting visitors of all ages to delve into the rich heritage and enduring spirit of the first people in the New York City region. We Are Still Here pays homage to the resilience of the Lenape and the creativity of indigenous communities today while honoring their fundamental role in shaping the city and nation. Joining us this morning is Maeve Montalvo from the Museum of the City of New York and Brent Stonefish, co-founder of the End Lenapao Aking Collective. Thank you both so much for being here. Um, I want to ask you, um, you know, Brent, for people that want to come out, what can they expect to see today? Uh, today they can expect to see uh, workshops uh, and workshops from 11 till 2.30 and then 2.30 on we have a panel uh, with uh, language speakers uh, addressing environmental issues and youth issues of Lenapo mm -hmm. people. And what is the, the L Collective and how is it involved in the event? Um, the Enda Lenapa Aking uh, Collective is uh, made up of, of, of uh, four different communities, Lenape communities across uh, North America. And uh, our vision is to uh, unite and hear the voices of Lenapa across Turtle Island. And I wanted to ask you, Maeve, you know, we are still here. It's the beginning of a two-year initiative by the museum. So what are some of, the, some of the programs that you're going to be launching? Sure, yes. We're so excited to be working with the Enda Lenapa Walking Collective. Today, as Brent mentioned, there's family-friendly activities for all ages, Lenape games, workshops, but then also these powerful conversations. So as the museum, as we're looking forward to these two years, we are working together with the collective to produce ongoing public programs, family programs, community engagement, as well as dialogue behind the scenes as we're putting together the exhibition that will open in about a year. I think one of the things uh, that people can expect to learn by uh, attending is the ways in which that we don't think about maybe in our daily life, the Lenape still uh, are ingrained in our culture, what people see and do every day. What are some examples of that, that uh, people uh, who are going to learn will potentially learn more about? Uh, today is just that, uh, you know, the resilience of our people, um, that uh, we struggle every day, but we also celebrate life every day, and that, you know, we enjoy life, and you're going to hear a lot of laughter. <laughs> you know, yeah. we, we love love to laugh, but as far as other things, you know, you can learn our games, you know, how we do some of our artwork and what we, what our philosophy of life is, our way of life mm -hmm. is. So. And as we look and we're again working with the Lenape from multiple communities, one of the things that people will also learn is more of that nuance, that yeah. there are multiple Lenape communities, that the Lenape are still here. That's yeah. why this program is called We Are Still Here. I know as an educator, uh, working with many in New York City, a lot of people, a lot of kids learn about the Lenape as something, as people who were yeah. only here hundreds of years ago. Right. So one of the first learnings and one of the reasons we're doing this two-day celebration is so that people understand very much the Lenape are still here, their resilience, their humor, their culture is passing on, but also we can dive into some of the challenges and the work that it takes to preserve that culture and to bring it to the youth and the future generations. Yes. Brent, and, oh, go ahead. And to, in, in our language, which is uh, the Mansi dialect, we are still here is Iachkatapina. Yeah, it's Pina, and that's saying, you know, we are still here, right? So, what does it feel like to say that, and what does it feel like to have events like this, given the history? Um, it's about time, <laughs> 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 but uh, at the same time, it's it's it makes me proud. It makes me proud to see the people that we've gathered and them using their voice. You know, all our, our my relatives using their voice across Turtle Island. So that's, you know, and, and to tell the our history and our understanding of, of the last 400 years. I think uh, such a powerful point um, that it's not just a celebration of history, it's a celebration of present day yeah. and uh, the continuation of a, a years of, of struggle, but also a foundation that people should celebrate and deserves to be celebrated. Um, one of the things that people attending today will see are the Red Blanket Singers. And if we seem uh, maybe distracted or extra excited, it's because <laughs> we got a sneak peek in the commercial yes. break. Before we let our audience see, tell us a little bit about this and what they will see. 
Uh, they're going to see uh, the Red Blanket Singers uh, singing and dancing and, and showing the style of dance that uh, Lenape have embraced over the last hundred years to, you know, to express our celebration of life and that we are still here. We Yeah, and, and some of the meaning behind it. I mean, when people listen and people hear and will be actually feeling this yeah. mm -hmm. uh, music, yeah. uh, this performance here in the studio, what is it that you hope Brent, people take away from seeing this? Is to connect to their heart. The, the sound of the drum, the beat of the drum is our heartbeat. It's the heartbeat of Mother Earth and that's what we're symbolizing, that's what we're expressing when we use the drum. All right, now we get to all see it for ourselves. Um, let's, uh, let's take a listen. Red Blanket Singers, beautiful. Thank you so Round much. Of applause. Absolutely. <laughs> that All is, right. I think, the coolest thing that's happened in the studio. Well, at least I've been here. <laughs> yes. Wow. Me as well.